If you're looking to make a splash in your next watercolor project, you should really give this technique a try. It's so simple and I promise you'll have tons of fun doing it. Every technique video is narrated live while I'm doing the technique, so you're getting a real-time view of how the whole process works. Pull out the supplies I'm using and create right along with me, pausing as you need. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Creating watercolor splashes really is a ton of fun. You just need some watercolor supplies and either an air blower or a straw. So to start off, if you're going to be using a watercolor pencil, the first thing you're going to want to do is add a little circle of color as deep as you would like. So, you know, the more that you add to this, the richer the color will end up being. So this is a watercolor pencil and I'm just adding some color there. If I'm using a liquid watercolor or a watercolor pan, those just need to be ready to go. So I'm gonna take my watercolor brush here and this is just filled with water and I'm going to add a little circle of water here and I'll do another circle of water here. So we'll have three little samples going here. So I've got in my first sample here, I've got my watercolor pencil and we'll activate that in a minute. So with the watercolor liquids, if it's in a brush form or if it's in a just a dropper form, you can go ahead and just add some to your little circle here. Again, as deep in color as you want. And then for your watercolor pan, you're just gonna again add that in. So let's activate our, our pencil here. So I'm gonna put just a drop of water on top of that and that'll start activating that color. And as I work this around, you'll see that that color now is activated. Can add a little more water. All right, and then in my third pan sample here, I'm gonna do my pan, and this is actually a metallic watercolor. So I'm gonna add that into my third little drop here. And this is where the fun part comes in. So I don't need to um, really add much more water, but the more water you add, the bigger the splash you can get. So I'll add just a hair more into each of these. And with the air blower, this is just going to push air and you want to be kind of forceful with it. So just kind of push. All right, so if I do that and I bring it right up against the edge here and I push on my air blower, I'm gonna get that spray that I'm looking for. And you saw that my straw just kind of rolled along. That's how forceful that I've done that, so. And you can go from every direction and get some really cool spray action. Again, you just bring it right up to the edge and spray. If you have a straw instead, you're just going to blow into your straw just like you would with the air tool here. And you might find that you need to move your paper around a little bit more and be a little more forceful than you might imagine. And then in my third example here, we'll just continue on. So as you can see, you can get some really cool effects just by using this simple, simple technique. I hope you enjoyed this technique and you add it into your toolbox sometime soon. When you give it a try, share it out on Instagram and tag me at Nicole Watt Creates. I always love to see what your creative mind is thinking. Thank you so much for spending a little time with me today. And until next time, happy crafting.